Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, yes, it's been it's been chess moves for me lately. Now, it is again today, actually. Gosh, I was going to say not today, but I'm wrong. This is called YYSL Nights. Um, okay, this is this is pathetic research by me. That means yin yang. That's what the YY is. What does SL mean? I should know. Um, okay, what the rule set is going to do is create a yin yang picture in the puzzle. So we shade some cells so that all the shaded cells are connected in one orthogonally connected group. The same is true for the unshaded cells, but neither of them have a two by two area in them. White dots apparently lie on the borders between shaded and unshaded regions, but they also indicate consecutive digits. Digits in caged cells show the number of cells of the same color, shaded or unshaded, seen orthogonally from that position, including itself. Isn't that cave? No, maybe it's called something else. Something lantern. I can't remember what SL stands for. I'm sorry, blobs. Um, the other color blocks that vision. And there's a knight's move restriction. Wow, this is going to be crazy. I don't know how these... But I mean, Simon just piles into a yin-yang puzzle and knows a lot about it. I know a couple of basics and hopefully they'll be enough to get me going. But we'll look at the rules in more detail in a minute. Don't forget that there's still time to enter the Jewels of Osiris um, treasure hunt, effectively, by Demono on Patreon. It's fantastic. Loads and loads of uh, Sudoku to do in it, as well as loads and loads of story. Um, it, and it f it's very uh, fast moving. It's a real page turner. Well, I love it, but um, I'm biased. And there's all sorts of content on the channel, as always. Two videos a day. We just keep up this crazy relentless pace. Why not? And um, all of our content on the apps and on Patreon as well. So check out all the links. Uh, there is a long rule set with this puzzle, but that's fine. We'll understand it together. So you can try the puzzle on the first link under the video when you're ready. Um, I will go through the rules in more detail now, but don't forget to check out those links for Sven Sudoku Pad and the merchandise and so on. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. So as well as the yin yang, we are going to put one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box. Great. Now, we also have to shade some cells such that all shaded cells are orthogonally connected and all unshaded cells are orthogonally connected and no two by two area may be fully shaded or unshaded. I would color some of this to show you an example, but I would probably get it wrong, so I'm not going to. Um, do look at a previous yin yang puzzle on the channel if you don't know. Uh, use our catalog. Anyway, those, that is the rule set there. In fact, I'm trying to work out whether there is gonna be a difference between shaded and unshaded. I think it's just any two colors. It doesn't really matter which one you treat as shaded or which one is unshaded. From what I can tell in the rules. And that, that should confirm it. Anyway, let's get on with the white dots. White dots lie on the border between the shaded and unshaded regions. So for this white dot, that's one region and that's in the other region. Additionally, white dots separate consecutive digits. Now this is the first mention in the rule set of digits in the puzzle, thank goodness. Not all possible dots are shown. Digits in caged cells, of which there are plenty in this puzzle, show the number of cells of the same color, shaded or unshaded, seen orthogonally from that position, including itself, and the other color blocks vision. Right, I'm going to just imagine some purple there, green here and here, green there and there. Now let's make that one purple as well. If this was the this segment of this column and of this row, this, sh this um, caged cell would have a four in it. The count of purple cells, i.e. its own color, 
that can be seen from there, including itself, is three horizontally and another one vertically. So those four add up to four, and that would be the number in there. That is how that rule works. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling very foolish that I don't know the pencil puzzle name for that rule set, especially given that Blobs is telling me it begins SL. So my apologies there. Um, somebody in the comments will tell me very quickly. Now, there is also a knight's move restriction. So whatever digit was here, let's say there was a six there, you couldn't have a six in any of these cells a knight's move away. That's in addition to the normal Sudoku rules. Now, in this sort of puzzle, I am absolutely certain to forget that because there's going to be so much work to do with yin-yang to begin with that I will have forgotten the chess move restriction by the time we get to use it. So feel free to shout at the screen the whole time. Um, it's a quite complicated rule set, but I'm looking... F I don't often get these actually myself, but I'm looking forward to giving this a go. And yeah, let's say the immortal words and restart the clock. Let's get cracking. Now, how the heck do we get cracking? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is colour these. I'm not going to use green and purple after all. I'm going to use blue and yellow because there's more contrast. Now, I think I can shade this group of cells like that because each of these white dots is, a, is on a border. And for that one, therefore, whatever colour this is, and I've chosen blue, all of these must be yellow, and then you've got other borders here and here. Now, I don't know how these fit in, except I do. Okay, now I get to tell you two exciting facts that I know about yin-yang. And the first one may not come into play immediately. The second one does. The first one is that the perimeter must have only two runs, actually maximum two runs of colour in it. Now, why is that, you ask? And the answer is quite simply, let's imagine that all of this was yellow. Then you had blue here. Then you had another run of yellow. And then you had blue here. Now that looks, at first sight, eminently possible. But it's intriguingly not, because you have to connect up the yellow and you have to connect up the blue. And if you connect up the yellow anywhere, like it could be in that line or it could be anywhere but it will cut off the two blues from each other and if you connect up the two blues that will cut off the two yellows from each other so that is not what happens you must only have one run of yellow in the perimeter maximum and one run of blue now i don't know where they start and finish but actually there's a clue here this is there are only well, I now know that there are two colours in the perimeter because on either side of this white dot there has to be one colour. So one side is blue and one side is yellow. So there is a yellow side of the perimeter and there is a blue side. Obviously this is in the yellow side and obviously this is a swap. But I don't know much else about it yet. So let's bear that in mind as we go along. Now, the other exciting thing that I can tell you is that you can't have a checkerboard pattern in a two by two area. So consider this area. If that was blue, this is what I'm calling a checkerboard or a Battenberg pattern. And that can't occur because you would have to join this blue to that blue. And in doing that, you would necessarily cut off a yellow that couldn't join to its other yellow friend over here. And if you tried to join those two yellows, you would necessarily cut off one of those blues. So this is a really good thing to know about yin-yang, and we can use it straight away because this is an area where we can use the no checkerboard rule, and that becomes yellow. And here again, this 2x2 two two needs that to be yellow. Ah, and this blue needs to get out, so it gets out there. And this cell... Now, I'm going to think about the numbers already. This isn't too bad, actually. I'm going to think about the numbers already. This is a two or a three. Sorry, I got a piece of ice in my mouth. <laughs> it's going to stay there until it melts. Um, this is a two or a three because the only blue cells it can see are a maximum of those three, and it must see those two. So, that is consecutive, 
with a number here in the yellow cage that must be bigger. Oh, in fact, yellow there is on a border. This is blue. We know this number. This is a three. So this is a two. Oh, what's gone wrong? How can either of these be a one, which is the corollary to that being a two? Neither, both of them already see two yellow cells. What the f what have I done now? That's a two. This is a, this is definitely a three if this colouring is right. And I, th how can the colouring be wrong? The colouring of that area is right. The no checkerboard rule forces all those to be yellow, and this white dot makes that blue. This has to be a three. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. This doesn't have a cage in it. Right, this cell can't be a one because there is a cage here and it's already seeing two yellow cells. So that has to be not a one, but it's consecutive to two. That's a three. We've got a sequence here going one, two, three, four. And that was fine. Sorry. Right, those two blues end there. So that's yellow. We've done that. This three is seeing two there and either that as yellow or that. What about this cell? Don't know. This one's number doesn't matter because it's not caged. It only matters because it's consecutive with that one. Um, Gosh, okay, now, these can't be blue and neither of them can be blue because of the perimeter rule. We've only got one run of yellow that we're allowed. Um, now, it can't go all the way around there because it would go through the white dot in row nine. So that can't be the yellow run. So these are yellow. Now blue has to escape here. Now, what about these totals? Oh, this one is not one, two, or three. It's at least four. And the only cells it can see are that one, one, two, three, four. So it, we get blue here. Now this is seeing R. This is gonna have to be yellow. Oh, in fact, for two reasons. If this was blue, this would all be blue and you'd have created a two by two up up here. So that's one reason this has to be yellow. The other one is to do with the number here, which can't be the same as the number here. And both of these will see a particular run of numbers here, with somewhere between four and eight on this row. This one is then picking up an extra number here, an extra blue, I mean, here. So this is one less than that one. This is four, five, six, seven, or eight, and this is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Never afraid to pencil mark, thy name is Goodliff. Oh, down here, that's clearly a four. I hadn't seen that. Um, It's got to be, I mean, I thought when I was looking at this puzzle at the start that it was going to be all about this central region and it's eight cages. But in fact, we got a quite a good start over here. Now I'm wondering, does that peter out now or do I actually get more info somewhere? I don't know. Oh, the knights move. Don't forget the knight's move. I don't think it's relevant yet, but I'm desperately trying not to forget it. And I hadn't thought about it in quite a while. Um, right, I need to think of something else. Okay, this number is now at least four. So that is blue as well. Right, that's good. Two by two rule on this area means that's yellow. Now, this four, it's not in a cage. Ignore it. This is a trouble I have is you get so excited by the cage rule that you can't think of anything else. 
um, or you can't imagine that other cells don't matter. So having done that already once over here, I'm desperately trying not to do it again and failing so far. This already sees at least three blues, but it can't be three or four. So this digit is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is touching it and can't be three or four. So that's also five, six, seven, eight, or nine. It's consecutive, I mean, when I say touching. Um, this can't be blue or we'd have a two by two. So that's yellow, right. And that sees at least four cells in the row, but it can't be four, so that has to be yellow. And this is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Now, is this blue? Or is that a four, five pair? Don't know, don't know yet. Do we know about this dot? I don't think so. Ah. Right, okay, I've worked out something, which is that one can never be in a cage, because then it would be isolated on its own and that would break the yin-yang rules. Oh, of course, so where, which of these digits in the central box is a one? the one that's not in a cage. Interesting, I hadn't thought of that before. But it's making me think that this cell is not a one. And this cell is very detached from where we've done all the work in the northeast corner. But if it's not a one, it's also not two, three, or four. It's five, six, seven, eight, or nine. have a fee it can't oh, I don't know it could see some cells going north as well or could it oh it could it's tricky I want to say it's those five and it's a five but I daren't okay sorry um Can this be yellow? Does it have to be blue? Is that okay? One of these is a two. That's interesting as well. Where's the two going to go? And what does a two look like? I think a two always looks like this. It's a kind of sticky out bit. I mean, it could be in a blue area that's shaped like that, but it can't see more than two cells in its own direction. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't think it helps me fill in a two. I need to have some other insight, don't I? This is on the perimeter, but I don't think that helps. Um, uh, knight's move? None of those can be four. It doesn't, it doesn't even require a knight's move to see that. Oh, this, no, it's not in a cage. This is in a cage and it's a three. Oh, wake up. So we get yellow there and blue there to end the run at three. Now we've got checkerboard, so that's blue. Um, come on, keep going, Mark, keep going. That's not in a cage. This is seeing four. Right, this can't be blue, or these would all be blue and you would have a two by two. So that's yellow. So the four it's seeing are all vertical, bingo. So they're the four, that's yellow. Now we can use this number. It can only see yellows up to there because that's a border. So that is a five, those are all yellow. Now we can do a lot of the perimeter maybe. Those are all yellow. Blue starts here. Oh, but we don't know where else blue and yellow cross over. But still, that was good. Uh, this is yellow to avoid a two by two of blue. Now, we need more cages. Um, 
This one is, uh, I don't know if it goes that way as well as north-south. Um, oh gosh, I'm so slow at this, I know. One, two, three, so knight's move. Did I call the knight's move a king's move recently? I don't know. That will have been to do with yesterday's puzzle if I did. Maybe I have to think about the fact that one of these is going to be a nine, which is a big number. I mean, I suspect Blobs has done incredibly well to fit eight cages into a single box in, with this rule set at all. But I don't really know what it means as a solver myself, so I shall just assume that and carry on trying to solve. Um, oh, this is a border. Right. Okay, now I'm considering, does blue have to escape through here? And if it didn't, if this was a yellow cell, then by checkerboard rules, those would all become yellow. Blue would have to escape through here, and it's not allowed to, because it would go through what has to be a wall. So that is blue. And it sees at least three cells, and it can't be a four. It could be a three. Ow. Oh. Well, okay, I'm going to pencil mark it because I'm never afraid to write in a lot of pencil marks. Two. What about this? Does blue have to escape here? And this will be a big number if it does. Oh, maybe I should be able to tell something about this corner from these. Could that be blue? Then blue would run all the way around here. Now, is there anything to stop that? We'd have a nine. No, we wouldn't. That would be a five. Actually, I rather favor that being a five. I think that's quite possible. Oh, I don't know what's going on now. Um, what am I meant to be doing at this point? I can confine one in this box to one of those two cells using the knight's move. It's not interesting, neither of them are caged. These are five, six, seven, eight, nine as a group, but none of them are caged. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm not seeing what I'm meant to do next. Right. Next thing I was thinking is, can blue come to here? It can. But it couldn't go up here, because that would cut off this yellow cell. So if blue goes to there, this is yellow and comes out here. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Okay, let's think about this. If this was a three, this would be blue and would be surrounded by yellow. And that won't work because then blue has to escape through a wall. So that's not three. So now we've got three cells that are at least five in this column. And this one has to see two more blues. I'm very tempted to assume that's a blue. If that wasn't a blue, this, one, two, three, oh, it would have to see some blue here. Can this be yellow? Maybe that's the question. If this was yellow, these would all be yellow. This would be at least a three. If they were all yellow, what happens then? Oh, hang on, we've got a five there. This can't be a five. Now, that seems like a tiny pencil mark change, but it's huge because it has extended this blue streak to that cell, which is a caged cell. 
This one now must be as big as five because it's already seeing five. Oh, and it cannot have either no blue cells in those because then it would be exactly the same number as this one or just one blue cell in those two because then it would be the same as this digit. Therefore it has at least two blue cells attaching and it doesn't matter how far we're going across in blue here. It must have two cells and one of those must be here. So that's blue. Yellow now has to escape here. Now this could be my two in the central box. Probably pointlessly getting obsessed by two in the central box. Okay, let's think about this row again. Right, there is a maximum here. I don't, yeah, there's three of these cells. So this can't be an eight anymore because that would be a nine and this has got to be a bigger number. So that's not eight, that's not nine. This is gonna have at least two blues connected in the column. So that is bigger than this one. So it's not five or six. It's at least, oh, is seven or eight actually, could it, it could be nine. I don't know why I didn't put nine in. Now, if this was blue, this would be a six, seven, eight, nine set. That would be six, that would be seven. This would be an eight, nine pair, and that doesn't work. That is really, this is a bit detailed, but I love it actually. This is so clever. Sorry, 20 minutes in and I'm finally, I think, getting my head around some of this. Right, I'll show you what happens. If that's blue, these, this group has, I mean, they all see six cells in the row. So they have to now be a six, seven, eight, nine Sudoku set. The smallest is this one, which doesn't have any extra in the column. So what would happen here? This would become a six. The, the blue run would end. So there's only six cells in the row. This would therefore become a seven. Now, you'd have to have eight and nine in these cells. And the reason that that's not possible is both of them would need at least two cells extra blue that they see in their column. And that would require both of these two to be blue and that would create a blue two by two. So that is not what is happening because we're not allowed the two by twos. We go all the way back and say that this cell is not blue. This cell is yellow. This is cut off now. That's a five. This is huge for me, I think. That's a six. Well, this is seven, eight or nine. That's still the case. Oh, maybe it's not that huge because once you cut it off, I don't have any power over the line anymore. Now, does this have to be blue? Does it have to be yellow? What's this number? Maximum of three horizontally, but any number vertically. Oh, how has this not helped? Oh, this can't be eight or nine anymore because it's only seeing vertical number, vertical blues. And there's a maximum of seven. Ah, and it's at least a five by Sudoku. So this becomes blue and it joins up here. That's what I thought would happen. This now, no, this doesn't have a maximum of seven. This has a maximum of nine. Still, I, I, I don't know. Um, that is five, six or seven. This can't be a nine by Kropke rules. Um, now, what about these twos? This, okay, what about this digit? This already sees five cells in this column. So that is another high digit from five, six, seven, eight, nine. Interesting, but we've used up all the cages in this column. Now, what are these doing? They're seeing at least those five. This one is seeing two more. Right, this cell can't be yellow because this number would be the same as this number. Whatever the length of this blue, those two would be the same if, they, if neither could take any, any horizontal cells. Uh, so that's not yellow, that's blue. This is yellow to make the two by two rule work. Oh, this is fascinating. Um, 
Oh, hang on. Oh, yes, this four is not in a cage. It's all right. It's all right. Don't panic, Mark. Now, is this... Oh, this is still looking very... Oh, no, this can't be the two. This could never be the two. Yellow has to get out through the one. This is higher than a three, because there it sees a three, and it's already seeing three yellow cells. So two and three are going to have to be here. Is this the two? It could be here, though. Oh, bother. Um... I'm over fixated on the two in the middle box. I know I am, but ooh, knight move. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a long time. Five sees that cell. So that is a six or a seven, and this is blue. Good old knight's move. Thank you, knight's move. Um these must these can't be fives anymore. They now already see six cells. In fact, this one, six, eight, that already sees eight, and this one already sees seven. Ooh, they're getting interesting now. This one can't see any more than those, which are six. This, oh, that can't be five or six, given the knight's move. Come on, knight's move. Do, do a tiny bit more for me. Uh, this is seeing at least four because it can't be a three. So that's yellow. Now, how many is this seeing? Well, at least three. So again, four, five, or six. Well, actually, it could be any big number. I don't know how many it sees vertically. Oh, now I've got the choice of cutting off blue here with two yellows. No! Uh, yes, I could, and then it would escape. Well, I don't know. It, it could escape anywhere. Now, this is blue. I want to do the perimeter. Why can't I do... Oh, this has been cut off. This needed to have more than one laterally, so they're all blue. And there's the perimeter. I've done the perimeter, just as I wanted to have it done. This is yellow, and that means the dot is useless. I didn't need it at all. Oh, that's not fair. It's a crop key dot two for the numbers. That's yellow to avoid a two by two as well. Now, this number is known. It sees seven, including itself. This is known. That's a four. This is known. That's a nine. It can't get any extras. Um, what do I mean? Horizontally. This is a five. Gosh, I'm getting all... And that, don't forget the knight's move. Well, never mind the knight's move. That's Sudoku. There's a four there. Seven, eight, nine, triple along the top. Um, now, knight's move. What are you doing? Don't know. What about this central box? Don't know. Yellow has to escape through one of these cells, not both. So this is a yellow and blue domino. Now, what's this number? By Sudoku, it's not 9, 7, 5, 6, or 4. It can't be a 1 by the rule, so it's 2, 3, or 8. It can't be a 3, I don't think, because you'd have to have more than those two horizontally. That would become yellow, and then it would hit this one and be at least a 4. So that is 2 or 8, weirdly. Can it really be 8? All of those would be yellow. No, that's impossible for a, for an entertaining reason. Oh, no, it's not... No, no it, I'm wrong. You could have a comb shape here. These could alternate blue and yellow, and then that could all be yellow. Um, now, this can't be a six anymore. This is four or five. Depending on whether that's yellow or not. Is there a knight's move to there? No... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be a two. But five, four, nine, seven, six, two. One, three, or eight. I mean, there's there's not a lot of percentage in this puzzle in uh, marking in multiple candidates in cells that aren't in cages. It's the cells that are in cages that matter. Now this could be a two, but only if it was yellow. 
ah, this can't be blue or that yellow. Oh yes, this yellow has to escape. So it escapes there, that's yellow. Now we've got one of each here. Which way round do they go? Oh, well, they, they, we've got a two by two. So that's blue, that's yellow. Um, now, does the blue escape through here or through here? Not through here, because it would cut off. Oh, it doesn't have... well... No, I don't know. These can't both be blue, I do know that, but it's not very telling. Um, I fancy that might be a two. What's this? It's not one, three, or four. Oh, it, it is in a cage. Yeah, it is in a cage. What does it mean? I don't know. There's a four in one of those two cells. This is just Sudoku to keep me entertained. Um, oh, I just want to finish this middle box, and then I'll be then I'll be flying. That nine is done. Done and done. Oh, in this top row, we've got one, two, three, and six to place. But frankly, none of them are helpful to me. This is two or eight. Eight would be huge. They'd all be yellow. That would have to be a nine. And that would be a four. If that was an eight, this is a nine. That's a four. OK, this doesn't work. But it's quite complicated to me. I may be missing something, but if this was an 8, all of those would be yellow to make the count work. Now, this could only then be 9. It would already see 9 cells. And this would be blue. But if you make those yellow and that blue, this cell must be blue or yellow and it will create a two by two either there or there. So that is not eight. That is a two. This is blue. This yellow has to escape. This is actually incredibly helpful. That's become a five. Uh, we get a five by Sudoku into one of those cells. This is now, it sees four in the row, so it could well be a four or it might see more in the column. Bother. That five, that's done. Okay, that's done. I'm still obsessed in my brain. I'm trying not to talk about it. I'm still obsessed about where two goes in this box. Just can't help caring. Oh, hang on, hang on. This number is too different from this number because there's no blues to be added on in that row and there's two blues to be added on in that row. Uh, I don't know, I thought that was going to decide maybe with the knights move between those two that they couldn't be eights. It's, it doesn't do that. One of these is a seven obviously because there's a white dot there and we're only choosing from six, seven and eight. That's the odd digit on that white dot. So that's not a seven. That has, that has an advance. Oh, this can't be a nine because it couldn't see that many cells. If it was an eight, these would all be yellow. And we'd have the same sort of problem over here, although oh, it's all about these, isn't it? But I just don't know what... Oh, what about this now? This has a maximum of seven. I suppose it could be a two again. Ah, oh, four now by Sudoku has to be in one of those cells. And then four has to be in one of these. Gosh, am I meant to be doing lots of knights move Sudoku? I've got four there, so four can't be in any of these or those. Now, one of these is a four and obeys this sort of cave rule. What? Which one is it? Just don't know. Um, oh, how about knight's move from that two? That can't be a two. The two in box two is here. So those aren't twos. 
So two is one of these two. Now, could this be a two? It can't looking south. One of these is a two. I'm just trying to consider, does it have to be blue? Because that will colour the whole central box if it is. If it's yellow, that's yellow. So whether that is, if that's the two, these are both yellow because that has to be yellow and then checkerboard makes that yellow. If that's the two, it can't be looking south, it must be looking west and that's yellow. So that's always yellow now. And one of these is a four. Now, can that be a two and this be a four? Yes, easily. That would be blue. Actually, quite easily, that's really plausible. Ah, oh, but it's interesting. So if that's a two, that's yellow. If that's a two, oh, it could even be a four looking south. Bother! don't want to draw a false conclusion yet at all obviously these are from six eight and nine let's just do ordinary sudoku oh no look this is a weird naked single oh my goodness so he's nine two seven five six four in the row three and one by different knights moves so that's an eight and none of these can be eight now we've got a six nine pair nice that's a one three pair can't see the knight's move looking at those or at those. But this is one or three, and this is a one, three, six triple. This is a five, seven, eight triple. This one sees eight and five, so that's a seven. These aren't. Now, what have I, have I, I haven't put anything new into a cage. I keep wanting to call the cages cubes today, I don't know why. Um... One doesn't see any potential ones by knight's move. Seven in this row is in one of those two. We did work that out. This can't be six or four. So four, yeah, four is in one of these two. I have done that before. I want to know which one of these is a two, not just because I'm obsessed, but because it would be quite helpful. Um, now these yellows have to escape somewhere. If this is blue, it sees at least three and no more than six. In fact, it can't see all six because this yellow has to escape. So if that's blue, it's three or four and it can't be four. If that's blue, it's three. If it's yellow, Well, that couldn't be yellow because of two by two. So it's no more than five looking north-south, and it can't be four or five. So this is a three either way round. Weird. So there's a three in one of those two by Sudoku and Knight's move. I don't know the colour, but I've worked out the number. Now, if it's yellow... That's two. One of these is quite... Ah, oh, hang on. Six, nine and eight all see this central cell. This is two or seven. Now, how could it be seven? It cannot be seven, because that would only be a maximum of six cells. So that is a two. Right, that was Sudoku that did that. I love Sudoku when I'm solving my Sudoku, but only when I notice it coming, and I really didn't there. That's yellow to end that two. This is blue to stop a two by two. This is blue to end the three count. Right, come on. Is this yellow or blue? I don't know. What is this number? It sees three, four already. Maximum of six, so it's four or six. What is this number? Well, it could it could it be a four? Yes, looking that way. No, oh, we know what these numbers are now. We've known what these numbers are for ages, you muppet. 
seven, eight, nine. There we go, that's an eight. Oh, that was huge, and I've just been ignoring it like an absolute numpty. So sometimes it is not about forgetting the chess moves. Sometimes it's about just leaving your brain on the shelf at home. Those have been available for a long time, I think. Sorry. That's occasioned a lot of set shouting. That sees both that nine and two. This must be two, that must be nine. I have a feeling this is gonna go very fast now. That six, those are its six. That becomes blue. This four is correct, that five's correct, the three's correct. Uh, we've just got these two cells as cages to sort out. Oh, you numpty. It's so annoying to be so slow. I mean, I know it's just one deduction in a whole forest of them. Oh, look, that two sees those cells. That two sees those two. So we can place two in the box. Eight, three, nine, two, four. Um... Five can't be there or there. I'm going to do all the pencil marking on one, five, six, and seven, just because they're a quite interesting set. Six. I know that. No, can't be there. Right. This one seems to be naked by that pencil marking. It sees five, seven, and a six in one of those. Yes, that's a one. That was worth doing. Four, six, nine, one, two. This is a seven. It sees a five down there at the bottom of the grid. Right. This is a 179 triple. I bet I can make better progress than that. Seven and one are both looking at that cell, and that fixes the triple. Three, eight, five in these. Uh, three by the knight's move is looking there. I mean, some of these are probably good. Yes, look, six is looking at that cell. That sorts out six and four. Now, this four can't go south because it would be five, so they're all yellow. Blue below it. This six, that's the right number. So all the, oh no, not quite all the cages are done. I forgot this one, uh, which is four, five, or eight by Sudoku. It's already seeing three cells. It can't, it could get up to eight, but no, it's not eight because that would cut off a yellow area. So it's four or five. If it's four, that would be blue, and that looks possible. If it's five, it would have to... Oh, it couldn't go to both of those. I don't think whether it's four or five it can cover this cell, so that's yellow. Um, that is blue on the two by two. This is now seeing four, and if it went south, it would be seeing six, so it can't be five. That's a four, that's a five. This is in fact yellow, and now we have to join up the yellow sections. There we go, that is the coloring, all done. This is an eight, and I certainly haven't seen anything to say which is shaded or unshaded in the grid. I don't think that that can matter. Now, let's just do some Sudoku and get, get finished and go home. Oh, wow, this is a mission, isn't it? There's a five, eight pair there. So these are from one, two, three, seven. The top one sees one and seven. I was hoping that might give me something here, but it really doesn't. This is, no, that hasn't helped at all on the white dot. Right, what's going on down here? One, three, seven, and nine. This one can't be a nine by knight's move. So one, three, or seven. This is one, two, three, or six. Well, this is definitely odd, so this can't be odd. It's two or six. That can't be seven. We've got... that's eight on... All right, that's the only place for one in the column. That's going to give me a one in one of those two cells. Gosh, how is this still holding out? It's vicious. This is two or four, because it sees a nine and a seven. Um, I'll tell you what, if two is confined to those cells and to those cells, one of these two must be a two. They can't both be in those, because they all see each other. So one of those is a two, and there isn't a two on this 
white dot. Now that's odd, and this can't be odd. Same sort of trick there. We've got 2 out of a 137 triple. That's no use. This can't be 3. 5, 4, 7, 8, 9. This can't be 1 or 2 or 6. This is a naked 3, and that's huge. That sorts out the 1, 3 pair at the top. That sorts out 3 here. This can't be 3. That's a 179 triple. This is a 2, 6 pair. Um, what does that do? I don't know. I still don't know what's on that white dot or this one. Oh, but I've got a 1 there. That sorts out 6 and 1 in the corner. Still chances of getting a 3 in the corner. Now, the 5, 8 pair here. That makes this a 2 and a 1, 7 pair down there. This can't be a 4 anymore. And now this must be a 7. That's a 1. That was all due to the white dot. That fixes 1, 2, 4 over there. We get a 6 here. That's not a 1. Let's look at this row 8. This is 3... 8 or 9, I think, and this one, 3, 6 or 8, no. Row 8 was no use. Um, 5, I'm looking for knight's moves desperately up here. That can't be an 8 by ordinary Sudoku, and that can't be a 9. Chocolate teapot triple. This one is, no, 8 or 9, I can't see how that's resolved. Oh, I'm missing another knight's move. That's what's happening. Ah, oh, come on, Mark. Um, six, two, seven, four, one. So, three, five, or nine. Five or eight. That can't be nine or three. That was eight. This is a three, five, nine set. Oh, we've got a four, four. That's a four. Yes. That does no good at all. That's the last four in the grid. That's been available for ages. This can't be five. Across the bottom then. Four, one, eight, six. We've got a two. It's got to be here. That is seven or nine. Come on the knights move. Or come on the pair in the row. So we've got... 6, 8 and 5 to place in the row. I nearly said to fake in the row. I don't know what that's doing. There's a 5, 6, 8 triple. So that's not 8. This is a 3, 9 pair. There must be a knight's move. How about that 5, 6, 8 triple? Yes, they all see that cell. So that can't be 5 or 8. That's a 3. Um, that doesn't reach here by knight's move. Four one eight six two five. This is three or seven. It could be a three in the corner. Nines in one. How? Come on. Have I missed a cage? No, I've done all the cages. It's just knight's move stuff now. Five eight pair. Three. Oh, that three nine pair. Both look at that cell. So that can't be nine. And that'll do it, I think. Seven. It is three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. There we go. And we get a nine and a three. This is a knight's move away from an eight now. And regular Sudoku for the eight five pairs. Six eight. There's an eight looking at that six eight pair, which was a deadly pattern otherwise. And there we go. Yes. What a fabulous puzzle by Blobs. Again. There's our yin-yang pattern, just to admire. Knight's move, yin-yang. So interesting to fit all of those in the central box as well. Oh, I'm delighted to have got through that. Sorry about the... I can't even remember what it was. Was it just... I should have been able to write those in a long time before I did. That's what it was. Ah, oh, well. If that's the worst mistake, it's not the end of the world. I'm never great at these puzzles. Just pleased to get through them. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching me enjoying it. And I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.